keep expanding and bring the end of the world that much closer. I want to do everything I can, even if it doesn't work. Let's use the red strings. And we'll do everything in our power to help. So, what exactly are you going to do? If we're going to make this work, we need to keep strong emotions in check. Let's go to the Kunad Gate. I've jumped from there before, so I think it'll be easier to remember the feeling. You want to recreate what happened when the gate opened? All right, let's head there. gate has it always been that big it's definitely expanding but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years this place brings back a lot of memories the red strings i think there's a good chance this is going to work okay i hope i know what it feels like we'll give you sas support we should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together there's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. Alright. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So... Should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear, but I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca, though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. Alright. Let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. It's shaking! The Kunad Gate is reacting! Take me 
to mother! Kasane, we'll be waiting for you. This is the same as before. What is this place? The place where Mother has... Imagine it in my mind. The old OSF hospital, 11 years ago. Where am I? This is the hospital, right? Information for patients. Today is October 4th, 2009. I jumped right to when I wanted. I sort of have a sense of the red strings now. I don't think I can use them repeatedly, though. I should start looking for Mother. You're Kasane. Oh, I... Huh? One day, I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the red strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-red strings to transfer data across time to red strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Uh, is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunod Gate. Uh. 
Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the red strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Alright. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. It's alright. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be alright. Then we'll go to the future. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! An other warning. It's starting. I'll keep you safe, Mother. Let's go after Yuito. Others could show up at any time. I have to find Yuito fast. Where are you, Yuito? Yuito! Sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. <sighs> you see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you alright? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. I put the cuff on Yuito. Thank you. People can see us here. Come this way. All right then. Yes, let's go. This'll work. I need to think of Yuito and return to my time. Take me to your time.
It's the same as the vision Babe showed us. Which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuizo... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine when she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while, so let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals, or so they say. So, the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. I can't forgive the people on the moon for what they did. But if people are suffering from metamorphosis on the moon too...
Kasane, are you starting to remember the time when you lived with Makana? Unfortunately, no. But I do remember the kind, warm feeling I had in the days I spent with Mother. It's all because I met her. The circumstances are unfortunate, but I'm glad I got to see her again. Hey guys, everyone's free later, so why don't we have a party? It's too bad Yuito Platoon isn't here, but we can still have it with the six of us. Ooh, sounds good, Major. The word party just gets me going. Sorry, but I'll pass. Just hearing the word party, ugh, makes me sleepy. Ridiculous. We're OSF. We're not here to fool around. It's not fooling around. If we can work together and understand each other, we'll fight better together. Also, it will make a good memory. Of course, this is only if everyone wants to. I'm in. We've been fighting so much lately without any kind of break. I'm definitely in, Major. We need to enjoy life while we can. I don't think I'll have much fun, but what you said makes sense, and I have no reason to object. So it's four to two. I don't think I have the energy to try to stop this from happening. All right, you forced me to accept. Thanks, it's decided then. Let's work together to get ready. Hold up, I'm not helping. I still don't want to do this. Oh, really? I have something really important I want you to do, though. Important? Decorating the hideout. This will test your taste. It's difficult, but I thought you could handle it, Shiden. My taste? Well, if I left it to you guys, the hideout would probably look awful. All right, I'll do it. You're pretty easy. Thanks, Shiden. Arashi, you take care of the food. Haruka, can you be the party MC? The food? Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll do it. It should be like the operator work I always do. Okay, I'll take care of keeping it fun. I'll make this the best party ever. After all that, you're not going to help? You're such a jerk. What should I do, Kyoka? You and I can split up and help everyone out. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. Um, Arashi? I'm here to help you cook. What are you doing? Nothing. It took all I had just to get here. I wonder what food we should make for a party. I guess it's okay as long as it's edible. I feel the same. Hmm. I guess whatever we make, it will satisfy both of us. If a third of the guests are satisfied, I call that a good party. That means I know just what to make. What is it? <laughs> the best food I can think of, and the most efficient. We don't need to do any prep work. Which means, my work is over. See ya. I guess you don't need any help then. I'll go somewhere else. What are you here for? I thought you could use a hand. I'll help if you need it. I'm fine. Kyoka will just reverse calculate the time her duplicates could decorate in and do it that way. I never thought I'd be doing such childish work in the OSF. It's in order, though, so I won't slack off. Check it out. It looks a lot different, right? Um, I guess. What? Are you saying this is too plain? <sighs> I'll go look for something more flashy. I wasn't criticizing him. Well, he looks motivated, so I'll leave him to it. There you are, Kagero. Why are you invisible? Oh, um, I was just doing some thinking. The more I thought, the deeper the problem got. I mean, how am I going to make this party exciting? Arashi is being Arashi and Shiden is being Shiden. Does it need to be exciting? We're just getting together to have some food. <sighs> and you're acting like this. It would be horrible if the party ends on a low note. Would it? Anyway, is there anything I can help you with? You could probably handle call and response. 
When I say, are we having fun during the party, you yell out, yeah! I want it to at least seem exciting, and if you don't reply, I'll look stupid. I think you'll look stupid anyway. Fine, I'll say it if you need me to. That's my Kasane. Now, we need something with impact. Something that will really wow them. Oh, Kasane. Haruka is working on her opening speech. How is everyone else doing? Well, they're all doing their jobs. You seem pretty excited. <laughs> I am. I've wanted to have a party with everyone for a while. Now we finally have a chance, and they're all helping. It's like a dream come true. It is rare for this group to work together on something. Everyone usually goes at their own pace. Ooh, I'll have to work that into my speech. Kyoka really seems excited. I hope everything is ready for the party. And so I'd like to thank everyone for coming together and use this opportunity to deepen the bonds between comrades. Haruka, I don't want to upset you, but that's enough. You've been talking for 15 minutes. Has it been that long? Um, so that's all for my speech. <laughs> Let's start the party. Woohoo! Nice, Araka! Are we having fun? Yeah. That was horrible. I think that actually brought everyone down. You saying things like that brings everyone down? What's with these lights you put up anyway? Oh, uh, I thought I should put up something flashy. I may have overdone it a little. Flashy? It's so bright we can't even see the room. I, I just did my job. If you're talking about problems, what about this food? This is the full course I prepared. Enjoy the splendid feast. No need to thank me. It's just soda and rations. This is no splendid feast. It's worse than what we usually eat. That hurts. I did what I could to find a flavor that pairs well with soda. Ugh, just as lazy as ever. Um, what should we do? This isn't much like a party. I'm sorry. It was my plan, so I'm responsible. I thought everyone could have a good time, but I forced you all into this. What are you saying, Kyoka? I'm having a pretty good time. Huh? This is the best party I've been to. Shiden is complaining, but his face says he's having fun. What? I... I guess I'm not bored. I spent so much time getting ready. You're not gonna up and cancel it now, are you? You too. Yeah, it's a little lazy and haphazard, but it's more us than your average party. It is the kind of party we throw, and it's a party as long as you have fun. Thank you. All of you. You're right. Let's have our kind of party. Party's back on. Next up is Shiden's performance. Can we have a round of applause, everyone? Huh? Performance? No one said anything about a performance. Oh? Kagero told me to say that. What's going on, Kagero? Oh, you know, I heard from Captain Seto there was a special performance only an electrokinesis user could put on. Y you can't mean... He did teach me how to do it, but it's not supposed to be a performance. Come on, you're going to let that legendary technique go to waste? I want to see you do something cool. Fine, I'll show you. Feast your eyes on this! Eek! What is this? Wow! Oh, nice! Show us more! <laughs> oh, looks like you're having fun too, Kasane. I guess a party was a good idea. Yeah, I didn't expect it, but this is pretty fun. Just like Kyoka said, this will be a good memory. I want to talk to Kyoka.
He and I share the same mother. I wonder how he feels about that. Yuito, are you free right now? Yeah, what's up? It's just... Well, I thought we could talk about our mother. I'm sure we both have some things we want to say. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that too, actually. Oh, why don't we head down to Mizuhagawa? Why there? I just thought a little picnic might help change the mood. I can make some food for us. What do you think? A picnic in the middle of others? Well, I guess it'll warm us up for battle. Yeah, it'll be field training. Let's head out in about an hour. All right. <sighs> Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. This is pretty elaborate. He might even be better at this than Naomi. No, that's too much of a compliment. I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you big sister now? Stop it. The only big sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. That laugh. Is he trying to make me feel better? If he is, then maybe I was too hard on him. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. Isn't that right, Naomi? I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. Really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. 
promised not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. This is starting to get a little awkward. Is it because he called me his big sister? Oh, um, thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful. Okay, let's go then. Hey, Kasane. Remember how I called you a lone wolf before? Now that I think about it, I was wrong. You're no lone wolf. You're the one carrying everyone. I feel like that's more your specialty. <laughs> really? I think you're pretty good at it yourself. All of us count on you, including me. Pretty kind sometimes. Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. It's fine. If that's the case, maybe some of your sincerity is rubbed off on me. Thanks. should talk to Hanabi. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Kasane, got a minute? Yes, what do you need? It can wait if you're busy, but I was hoping you'd run some military exercises with me. We can go now. Let's head to the training facility. Damn it! I thought I could win this time. I can't believe you turned the tables on me at the last second. I may have managed to push through at the end, but it was really close. Thanks. That made for a good training session. I noticed you move differently now. It's like you don't hesitate anymore. <sighs> don't analyze me. You shouldn't get carried away just because you beat me. It was a compliment. I know, but I guess it's fine. I'll learn from this experience and win next time. Just you wait. I appreciate your passion, but remember not to push yourself too hard. You'll make your family worry. I don't even have to be pushing myself for them to worry. They never listen to anything I say. You have good parents. You would better be replying to all of their messages. I am, but they still won't stop bugging me. I decided I'm gonna drop by and see them once in a while. That's a good idea. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. They're constantly asking when I'll be coming over next. I mean, don't they get how busy I am? You always talk about them like that, but I know they're important to you. You just can't admit it. That's normal. You're just too blunt. Although that could be why you're so strong. You fight for what's important to you without being bothered by what anyone else thinks. That's a strength that can't be measured. 
and utterly incomprehensible to me. But I did learn something while watching you. What would that be? Real strength isn't something you compare against other people. Everyone, including me, has their own unique strengths. Anyway, don't get cocky just because you're a little talented. I'm eventually going to surpass you and run the OSF one day. And here I thought you'd actually grown as a person. You haven't changed much at all. What? Although, it would be off-putting if you suddenly changed overnight. So I guess this is better. Nothing but insults, as usual. Are you really trying to become friends with me? About that. I know what Kyoka said, but I don't think we need to force a friendship between us. What? We may have different ways of thinking, but we can trust each other on the battlefield. Don't you think that's good enough? Uh, we're fighting in the same platoon. I suppose I can at least be cooperative. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. Hey, Kasane. I have something to say to you. You really are amazing. Your calm and confidence in battle, your strength of mind, and even though you're so cold, you're popular. It's rare to get a compliment from you. Did you eat something weird? No. I think the reason I've come this far is because I have a rival like you. So just because I recognize you as a rival doesn't mean I'm going to let you win. Be ready. Listen carefully, because I'm only going to say it once. Don't die. You're worried about me. Thank you. Same to you. Kasane, can we talk? I have a favor to ask. What is it? I know this is cruel of me to ask, but could you tell me where Naomi died? I heard about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. It's Mizu Hagawa. We can go together. Are you sure? Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry, and thank you. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the people transformed into others. They saved us when we had nowhere to run, at the cost of their own lives. It must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. Naomi told me something back then, though. That she was happy to have been alive, and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm. Naomi was in pain. But she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Gemma, are you crying? Hmm? Oh, looks like I am. <laughs> Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. Don't worry, I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I won't let anyone go through what Naomi did ever again. However, this nation's issues are too great. Suo and Seiron are no different. They use and discard the innocent for their own gain. You're right. I'm sure there are people like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. I was hesitating because of the size of the opposition. But learning about Naomi's last moments here... has solidified the path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public, the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up for past mistakes. That's the least I can do for Naomi. 
I'm glad you have a goal. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although it might be a little conceited. If a retired OSF soldier can live a long life and do something to help society, then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. You must have drawn upon your vast experience to come up with an idea like that. No, I didn't come up with it on my own. It's something I thought after talking with you. Really? Remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day? That helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability to fight. Even if I lose my power, there are still so many new things for me to try. I was worried about what would happen after retirement, but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world, even without her. For both Gemma and me. I feel like I should start something new, too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? It's pretty interesting. I'll think about it. Look, Kasane, it seems like I'm not very good at expressing these kind of feelings. I'm just concerned about you as a friend. That's all I wanted to say. It's strange. I don't feel upset hearing that coming from you, Gemma. Thank you. No need to thank me, I'm just telling you how I feel. This is kind of embarrassing. I know this is strange to say, but I really admire you. I admire you as well. I have to make sure I live up to your respect. Oh, Kasane! Do you have a minute? Will you come to a cafe in Suo with me? Sure. Is everything okay? Uh... There's something I want to talk to you about. Has she made a decision about Yuito? Alright, let's go. So what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point as always. Okay then, I wanted to talk to you about the OSF. The OSF? Not Yuito? Hey, it's not like I think about him all day. I mean, maybe I did up until recently, but there's no talking about Yuito today. I want to be more independent and not rely on him so much. I see. So what about the OSF? We've seen the OSF's dark side through the battles we've been in. We know that they're not an ally of justice. We found out that it's an organization that runs cruel experiments that cost a lot of people their lives. True. Now I'm struggling with the decision of whether or not to stay in the OSF. I know that I have to be the one to make the final choice, but I just wanted to ask your opinion. If you're questioning your current situation, you either have to leave or change. Right. So it comes down to those two options. I guess I don't really want to leave. I have friends and other people who are very important to me in the OSF. And I don't want to run away. I feel like I need to face the OSF head-on precisely because we know there's something wrong. Then that leaves you with only one answer. You're right. I probably already knew it, but was too afraid to say it out loud. I want to change the OSF because it's filled with the people I love. I don't want to give up on it. An OSF that doesn't sacrifice lives, but saves them. Yeah, that's going to be my goal. That's a good goal. Straightforward, just like you. <laughs> I know it's ambitious, but it's the least I can do if I want to be on the level of you and Yuito. You can do it. I told you before that you have the power to break through the front line. Even outside of battle, you can break through barriers as long as you put your mind to it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a compliment, but thank you. I'll do my best. Hey, Kasane, I'm glad we became friends. Is something wrong? I was so preoccupied with Yuito before, but talking to you made me realize I had to change. I think you've helped me broaden my perspective as well. I think about things I never would have before. 
It might just be my imagination, but are you planning to leave the OSF? What makes you think that? Well, you didn't seem to hesitate when you suggested my leaving the OSF. So I thought maybe... I haven't made any decisions yet, but you're right. I am considering that as a possibility. Oh. It'd be sad to say goodbye, but I'll always support you, no matter what path you may decide for yourself. Thank you. I appreciate that. Although, I'd like to see you confess your feelings to Yuito before I leave. What? I told you! No talking about Yuito! Did you say that? Honestly... Anyway, I'm not ready yet, but I think I'll be able to take the first step soon. So wish me luck. I hope your wishes come true, and not just romantically. I'll pray for you two. Let's both do our best. What does this handshake mean? I'm not sure, but it just felt right. Maybe it's a sign of our friendship. Even if we're apart, we'll still always be friends. Okay, friends it is. Well, are you ready to go? <laughs> we still have so much to do. Yes, let's get going. Kasane, perfect timing. There's a popular fortune teller visiting Seiron right now who's said to be 200% accurate. What? 200%? How can you be twice as right about something? Either way, I'm not really interested. Oh, come on. Let's go get red together. You might gain some valuable information we can use in our upcoming fights. I doubt that, but fine. If you want to go that badly, I guess I'll tag along. Let's get going then. I'm sure there's a line already. This really is a long line. I'm surprised so many people believe in something so unscientific. There's a lot in the world that can't be explained by science. Now let's line up. This is going to take some time. I'm going to go buy something to drink. You stay here and hold our place. What's taking her so long? Did something happen? I should probably go look for her. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Kyoka, who are you talking to? Oh, Kasane. I I'm sorry. Did something happen? Who was that? Someone from Togetsu. What? But Togetsu is on its last legs. Or at least that's what I thought. I was surprised too. It seems the agents scattered around New Himuka are still active. They told me to come back and work with them. But why? Babe isn't operating anymore, and it was the one running Togetsu. They told me they need Dr. Pope's neuroscience expertise in order to revive Babe. None of the other design children were able to adapt to Dr. Pope's vast memory data. With Babe gone, my brain is the only one that has her memories. Just so we're clear, you're not planning on going back to them, right? Of course not. I'd never do that. <sighs> There's still something worrying you. She told me that I need to fulfill my role as someone created by Togetsu. Who do they think they are? I know, but it's true that I was created to fulfill Togetsu's plans. My brain, my body, and everything else. Mm. When I was there, I thought the only value I had was in carrying out my orders. 
I'm here now because I stopped allowing them to define me on their terms. I don't regret it, but sometimes I'm left feeling uneasy. I feel like my own existence is indefinite. That I'm just worthless. You're not worthless at all. You've saved us countless times. We need the Kyoka who's here with us now, not Dr. Pope's memories. Thank you. You're right. I can't let them get to me. We should try to find out what the Togetsu remnants are up to so we can stop them. Do you have any leads? Not yet, but as long as they need me, they'll approach me again. When they do, I'll pretend to join them and see what they're up to. I might even be able to lure them out. It's a good plan, but risky. Let me help. I can't let you go alone. Okay. I really don't want to get you involved. But I need your help. Oh, we never got our fortunes told. Ugh, I was hoping to get some good news. Ugh.